For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello, welcome to At Walls Camping and Leisure with me, Mike. Today I'm giving you a little bit of a review on uh, the small range of tents from Camper. So this one here is the Brighton range. So this behind me is the Brighton 3. They do different sizes as well, so they do a Brighton 2, 3, 4 and even a new 5 for this season. So small little tent, certainly a great offering as a price point. So if you want to use it for like a festival um, or something like a pup tent to go inside the caravan awning, really nice sort of thing. Great value is brilliant. This one being the free, obviously free refers to the berth it sleeps. So you can get three people in there, no problem. Personally, I find if there's sort of two people, you're probably better the three. If there's say three people, four, just that little bit of extra room because you don't want to be too cramped inside of it. It's uh, in inner up first, so you put the inner tent at first and there's obviously a, a tutorial video of myself putting this very model up as well, which you can check out. Um, took no longer sort of sort of seven, eight minutes to put the whole thing up one person. So as soon as you've got two hands, more the merrier. You've got a nice sort of little canopy area where you can store things as well. So not only have you just situated your sleeping area, you can happily say chuck three people in there as well. You can't actually stand up in these sort of tents. They're more just obviously for sleeping in, like I said, ideal for the sort of festival market. And you've still got a bit of area at the front here, which you can quite happily chuck a bag or take it inside with you. You've got obviously a little door you're going to get your privacy in the front and this part ground sheet here uh, is included in the fix to the inner tent. If you don't want to have the ground sheet, obviously just remove the pegs. And what you can do is just roll that back or even, be, or even chuck it underneath the inner tent like that. So again, it just opens the area. So if you want to, you can leave this canopy, sort of this door open and it starts chucking it down with rain, you still will just soak into the grass rather than collect on the ground sheet. One thing that's quite nice is you've got small two little windows just to get a bit of light in. So first thing in the morning, you want to see who's about and you can do so. Uh, but the door obviously zips up as well. And there's actually inside of there, there's small little things you can't quite see from the camera angle we've got here. But you've got um, things like um, little storage pockets either side. So down at the bottom here, there's something to put your you know, keys, your phone, or even a torch. So in the middle of the night, you want to wake up and sort of do have to route around if you want to go to the toilets to find where your torch or phone is. So a little thing's quite neat like that. Uh, it uses fiberglass poles, so it packs down to a nice small size. Uh, the joys of it, again, is it's, it's quite lightweight. So if you're traveling to a, a festival, you're not going to have to take something that's huge and clumpy. And like I said, in terms of putting up, it's pretty easy as well. It's really just a, a great value tent for the money and certainly one that we've done for a few years now here at Atwells. And something you can certainly buy off us um, and we have up on display in our showroom. So if you have any questions, of course, about the Brighton range, do contact us here at Walls. Um, alternatively, comment below and we can always answer your questions. So in essence, that is the um, Camper, Brighton, the two, three, four, and obviously the new five.